All right, let's go over a few examples from Big Ideas Math 10.6. All right, this chapter, I believe, is titled Segment Relationships in Circles. So the last one we did, we were talking a lot about the angles. In this section, we're talking about the segments, the length of the line segments, okay? So looking at this, you're gonna see on each slide, I have a little bit of a different scenario. In this first one, what we see are two chords that intersect inside the circle. When two chords intersect inside the circle, something really cool happens. And that is that X times three is gonna equal four times six. The product of each part of the segment equals the product of each part of the other. And I've seen it done before where you can go like this, that this product will equal this product. And it makes kind of a giant multiplication symbol to help you remember. All right, so x times 3 equals 4 times 6, or 3x equals 24 so x equals eight, all right? So once again, on the second one, we see that we have two chords intersecting inside the circle. And therefore, we have two times x plus one. Each part, let me do it in a different color, two times x plus one is gonna equal three, times four. I'll do that back in green. Three times four. Part times the part equals part times part, if you will. All right, and so if we distribute here, we get 2x plus 2 equals 12. Subtract off the 2. 2x equals 10, and x equals 5. All right, not bad. 